Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to the floor of my room. I typically don't film here unless it's like a vlog or something, but for my actual like sit down videos, I never film here. So if you're new to my channel, just know this is not my usual setup. Um, unfortunately, it's a really gloomy day and I really wanted to get this video up for you guys. So I kind of made it work with the lighting in my room and then I have the Christmas tree on and that gives off like a really nice like glow, you know? Anyway, so I wanted to show you guys everything that I got throughout the month of December. I got some amazing pieces at the thrift store and I just want to go ahead and show you guys because I'm really Really, really excited um, so the first thing that I have um, I'm gonna have to like do a try on because you guys are not gonna be able to see it properly like this um, but it's like this beautiful dressing gown and I am obsessed so it looks like this it's like a sheer dressing gown and look at the sleeve it has kind of like a drop sleeve like this and then the whole bottom section is like all fluffy I just want to walk around a castle and just kind of like float around um, I just need to get a castle first but you know details I feel like an actual princess right now. Don't you just love the drama of the bottom ruffle? I think it's so stunning. I put on like a random slip that I already owned underneath so that I can actually show you guys this. But it just, like it fits perfectly. I'm like obsessed with it. Like I said, I just need the castle to just run around it. <laughs> the next thing that I have is kind of along the same lines in the sense that it's more of like a, I don't want to say lingerie, um, like dressing, like, let me just show you. Um, so it's, it's a slip. Um, and it looks like this and it has the little bust section there and then it's actually very fitted at the chest like rib cage area which I really like I actually haven't seen many slips that have this design it makes it look a little bit more vintage a little bit more like 1950s and the rest of the slip is just like a regular one it just kind of like falls on the body it's not tight or anything um, and it has all this kind of like lace detailing and I just think it's so pretty this is what the slip looks like I actually think it fits really nicely like the bodice of it up here fits really nicely and it just kind of like cinches in my waist a little bit and it's gonna look really nice underneath like dresses and stuff um, the next two pieces I actually already showed in my vlogmas video so if you already watched that video this is the second time you're seeing these pieces however you will see me trying them on so stick around for the try on portion um so the first thing that i have is this little cardigan it's really cute it's cream and it has a bit of like a texture like the knit itself has like a like a textured print to it you can kind of see it there um and i definitely prefer this over like plain cardigans i think it just kind of adds a little bit more detail a little bit more of like a vintage feel to it and it just kind of reminds me more like 1950s sweaters where they had a lot of like details like that in the knit um so yeah i really love it and then sorry i dropped it so yeah I really love it and then it also has these little white buttons which I thought was really cute I would not actually wear like a plain tank top underneath this I just put that on so that you guys could actually see what the cardigan looks like and the print on it um, but I do love the print on it I think it's really really pretty and it just kind of adds something extra so even if I am wearing like a plain white blouse or something underneath it still adds a little bit of like texture to the outfit and I love that it has like a high neck sometimes cardigans have a wider neck and I really don't like that I think it actually looks really nice when it's really nice and fitted to your neck next piece that I have is something a little unusual for me I would say um, and it is a little pleated skirt not that that's unusual for me it has a paisley pattern on it however I do really love the colors but like every time I see it on its own like if it's just there I really like it but then when I'm seeing it on the camera like I'm seeing it on the little viewfinder there I don't know how much I love it let me know what you guys think like I'm seeing at it like beside my face and I'm kind of like do I really like paisley this is what the skirt looks like I am gonna take the jacket off in a second but I wanted to show you guys the difference that it makes because I put the skirt on and I can try it on at the store and I don't find it very flattering for my body shape so I kind of wanted to cover up an area where I think it adds extra fabric to like my body I'll show you guys in a second but this is the outfit that I came up with and I actually really love it and then I thought I could add like this really big brooch there in the middle and I think that would look super cute okay so if I'm just wearing the skirt and the top like I feel like it's not very flattering for my shape like this one kind of like goes straight here on my waist and then it just kind of like bulks out which my body doesn't do that I feel like it's just adding extra fabric to an area where I don't want it to add extra fabric if that makes sense next thing that I have is a dress and I think this is so cute it has more of like a 1920s kind of influence to it obviously it's not from the 1920s and it's not perfect like historically accurate or anything but it does kind of have like a nod to that time period so I really really like it um, so it looks like this it's a red and white little striped 
dress and it has a drop waist and then it ties on the side or wherever you want to tie it. I like tying it on the side, I just think it looks better but... So this is what the dress looks like. Obviously it's not perfect, it doesn't look straight out of the 1920s, it's not clearly. Uh, but it does kind of have that feel to it, it has like the drop waist on it, it ties in a little bow or like knot on the side which I think is really cute. Um, I don't know, I think it would be really nice to wear to like the beach or just kind of like on a lazy day in the summertime. I also picked up another dress and this was kind of random, it was in the uniform section and it was like $3 and there was tons of them. So I feel like it must have been from like a uniform, like a warehouse of some sort because they actually don't seem used at all and there were so many of them that I figured it was just kind of like a leftover box or something. Um, and it looks like this, it's a blue little dress and it's just kind of fitted at the waist and then it just kind of has like an a-line shape almost and it has little white buttons going along the front and i figured even if i wear it to like run errands or like a lazy day or something like that it was like three dollars so i can definitely get my money's worth this is what the dress looks like and i actually think it's really cute it does have more of like a uniform look to it and it has little pockets here on the side like they're little like slanted pockets um but i could make it look a little bit more feminine like if i add like a floral brooch or something to it. I don't know, it like play around with like some curls, maybe like a hat of some sort. And I actually love how it fits. Like it really does like cinch in my waist really nicely, which I appreciate. It does have a few buttons here at the back. So if I did want to make it a little bit tighter or looser, I could if I wanted to. And then I also got another dress because that is pretty much all I wear. Um, and it looks like this. It's really, really cute. It was part of my taking Instagram photos at home video. So if you watched that, you've already seen it. But I just thought it was so cute. It's like a little red and white gingham dress and then it has these really short little puff sleeves and it has this white collar with flowers on it really really cute um it like slightly cinches in at the waist and then it's really nice and flared and then the bottom has like a broidery anglais uh, border to it which i think is really cute as well love that i mean how could you not love this it is so cute the last clothing piece that I have is a coat and I don't think you guys are going to be able to see it in this crop because it's very long. I haven't bought a coat in a really long time actually it feels, it feels like. Actually no, I bought one last month. Okay, so it looks like this is like a very long black coat. It's super long and really really heavy. It has like a faux fur collar on it it's gonna be really hard for you guys to see even in this lighting but it has this really beautiful faux fur collar and then it also has faux fur cuffs and it is just amazing and i think this is gonna be like a really nice go-to winter coat it like pretty much almost goes down to like my feet so it's gonna be really nice and warm especially for those cold winter days imagine this with like my black faux fur hat Oh my god, that's gonna be so good. This is what the coat looks like, and you can see how long it is. It goes all the way down to my feet. I'm hoping that this crop shows how long it actually is, but it is just the coziest thing ever, and it's really nice and heavy. And it, I would say that it's probably like a size too big. However, it's gonna be really nice so that I can layer underneath, just because when it gets really cold, it's really nice to have a lot of layers. Um, so I think it's gonna be fine, and I think it looks really cute. And if I did want to, I could always like cinch it in with like a belt or something if I do want to make it look a little bit more fashionable. The next three things that I have are more accessory type things. So I have two hats. One of them looks like this. It's really, really pretty. It's black. It almost looks like a structured beret, if you know what I mean. But I think it's really, really pretty. And I know I'm going to be getting so much wear to this. I love hats like this. I think they're so cute. Then the other hat looks like this. It is a little like faux fur little like pillbox hat. And I just think this is so pretty. It's so soft. It honestly just feels like real fur. It's probably not. But I got it at the thrift store for like eight dollars and i think this is going to be so nice you guys know how much i love my faux fur hats and this one is more of like a fashion accessory as opposed to like an actual winter accessory that will keep me warm like this does not cover my ears it's definitely just like an accessory to make it look really cute and it's going to make any outfit look really cute also finally found a paper umbrella you guys have no idea how long i have been looking for one of these every time that i find one of these it either has like a lot of elaborate flowers on it which usually i don't like the type of flowers that are on it or it has like tears or holes because it's made of paper so it's really easy for it to like obviously break this one is in perfect condition and it's just like a plain white one i don't know if i'm gonna have enough room to show you um, i'll do a try on i'm not a try on but i'll like stand up and show it to you guys because i feel like this is not doing it justice <laughs> like how fun is that
have three more things left and the first one was actually a really lucky find i found it in one of those like random bags like you know that one section on the back that has all the random bags with things um and i ended up finding this little picture frame and the reason that i wanted it is because i actually have a bigger version of this it's on my dresser and it's like the really big version of it and it has a mirror this one is the matching like picture frame so i got really excited i didn't even know there was another one so i had to get it when i saw it i was like okay perfect now i have a little matching set not sure what photo i'm gonna put in it but um i'm sure i'll find something I also got a book and this is the only thing that's not thrifted in the entire video um, and I got this when I went to Dundurn Castle you guys saw that last week I went to Dundurn Castle and I got this and it is the diary of Sophia McNabb and this is one of the daughters that lived in the castle um, and this was written in 1846 when she was 13 and it gives you a lot of like insight of what life was like in the castle and just like her everyday life I just thought it'd be interesting just because obviously I've been in the castle and then this is gonna be like people that were actually living there I don't know I thought it would be really interesting and since we are going into a lockdown I thought it'd be really perfect so I can get a lot of reading done so really excited to add this to my book collection very last thing in this haul sorry I feel like I've been talking forever um, but I have a tray I got this at the thrift store and it's one of those things where like I find something that I really love and I think is really beautiful but I have no idea what to do with it um, but I bought it anyway because it was like five dollars um, and it looks like this like how beautiful is this tray like if this was at a vintage store a hundred percent it would be like $40 but I got it for like $5.99 I think it was or $4.99 and I just thought it was so pretty it's like this really beautiful pale green and it has all these flowers on it and like imagine I just like serve some cookies on here like amazing so really excited not really sure what to do with it I even debated putting something in my room I don't really know I have no plans for it I have no idea if you have any ideas or suggestions let me know in the comments below um, but I just thought it was really really beautiful and yeah that pretty much wraps up this video thank you so much for sticking around if you watched this entire video I feel like I was very jumpy and all over the place in this video I'm not used to sitting down and doing hauls like this so hopefully it's manageable and I don't give you a headache with how much I'm moving around don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications because there's going to be a few more Christmas related videos coming up like my uh, Christmas haul like my what I got for Christmas video as well as vlogmas week four so you don't want to miss those so make sure you are subscribed and your post notifications are turned on um, but yeah I will see you guys next time bye